The government's realization of a 100% transition of learners through various stages of the Kenyan education system has met many challenges, among them poverty and delays of release of funds by the Treasury. Education stakeholders have now come out to support the government in making the objective a reality. Bahati MP Kimani Gunjiri says congestion at secondary schools and delays in disbursement of constituency development fund by the government is to blame for the sorry state of affairs in many schools. Ni kweli mnasema watoto wote policy ya serikali wote waingie secondary. Wote waingie university. But you have not catered for structures. Sasa mnataka kuleta vita watoto wote waingie wasimame kwa daraza na hakuna structures <coughs> it is not possible we must do two things makoa one pesa structures lazima zikuweko mupime hiyo mashule vile watoto wanaingia mchukue data mtajua second muangalie mambo ya, wa, ya walimu our schools has no teachers Separately, it was a rekindle of hope for 100 secondary school students from low-income families in Nakuru County after a non-governmental organization provided full sponsorship under the auspices of British missionaries. Hope Africa Program Director Kennedy Wafula says the beneficiaries from 11 sub-counties in Nakuru County will also be assisted to pursue higher education. Elsewhere, 100 pupils who sat the Kenya Certificate of Primary Education examination in 2019 from Samburu County will benefit from a LIMO scholarship program for the next four years. We have looked at the agenda because we are concerned in the affirmative action and out of that we got uh, around 78 uh, girls and 53 boys benefiting from the program. We also can confirm that we also had uh, some people with disabilities and special communities or marginalized communities who applied for the scholarship and were able to get the scholarship with us. And in Kisi County, 232 students from underprivileged families in Nyamache and Marani sub-counties have also benefited from the Elimo sponsorship program. The beneficiaries include 128 girls and 104 boys. Those who get uh, don't don't get uh, double um, double allocation when others can uh, can benefit as well. But in this case, in this particular case, I'm sure children who have got it are not going to apply for CDF or any other for that matter. It was in the same script in Turukana County where tens of students and well-wishers turned out at Lodua Boys High School for the launch of the Elimu Scholarship Program. We are coming to commission the Elimu Scholarship Program. As you very well know, the Elimu Scholarship Program is a program of educating uh, needy but constrained students, needy but constrained students, who cannot afford secondary education. Uh, education stakeholders were loading the Elimo scholarship program, which is funded by Equity Bank and the national government in partnership with the World Bank, says administrators should ensure beneficiaries are different from recipients of the CDF bursary kitty. For KBC Channel One, my name is Moses Nyakundi.